Hi, I'm Emma from ePilates Online. Welcome back. Today is day five of our challenge. Hope your legs are feeling okay after yesterday. We'll be using little hand weights today if you have any. These ones I've got, uh, not that little actually, they're two pounds. Uh, you can use water bottles that are filled with water. You can use some soup cans. Uh, you don't even need to use any weight at all. You'll probably feel this without the weights. So we'll begin with feet together to start. We'll go into our little Pilates or bar turnout. So first position, lifting up from the toes, wrapping out from the hips. We're gonna start in this position so that we're activating a little into our deep seat and our core. Stay tall with your body. We're just having the arms by the side and I want you just to roll your shoulders up, back and down a couple of times. So inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more time. Shoulders roll up, back and down. Now keep the shoulders open. You don't have to squeeze back, but just think a nice broad collarbone area. And we start with some bicep curls. We exhale up, inhale down. Exhale, lift, inhale lower. So as we're doing all of our arm and shoulder work with the weights, your focus is ideally on posture at the same time. So we're staying tall and also on shoulder stability. So when we start to lift the arms, we don't want to be lifting the shoulders. Okay, and this is really important, just like in our Pilates. And as we do this now, we're going to start to reach the arms further out. So we bend, reach. So the arms are coming further out in front, working a little more into the shoulders as we keep the arms further out and slightly lifted. So we're going to do two more. Try not to wobble the body and then reach the arms. Tiny bend and extend. So reach, reach and press, press. So if you start to get neck tension, the area up, we call it upper traps, we want to avoid this. So we take the arms a little lower. If you start to feel neck tension, do away with your weights because we want to focus on shoulders rather than neck and release. Give your shoulders a nice roll out again. Bring your palms into first position. So we, like we're hugging a big tree, and we lift and lower, lift and lower. So as we lift, we're not rocking the body. So keep connected to the core. It's easy to do this. Remember, keeping good posture, connect to your center always connecting to your center and as the arms go up we're not lifting the shoulders so the shoulders gently draw down the back notice the difference if I lift my arms and my shoulders come too I'm using all this area instead shoulders stay down but arms come up okay so let's do another four three two Hold one, little pulses, five, like you're hugging a big tree. Keep those elbows up, three, two, one. We open and close, inhale, exhale. Second position, first position. Keep going with this. We have four, three, two, one, and close, release the arms. Give your shoulders a nice roll again. And then this time reach the arms forward and then bend and extend, bend and extend. So as we're bending, keep those elbows in tight. We're gonna to start to add a plie. If you want to start and add the legs, you don't have to, just an option. As we did yesterday, we can start to add in for a few more leg movements with the arms. Four, it's a bit more coordination, three, and two and one. Now from here, we keep the bend in the legs, we pump the arms and pulse up, up, up. Now I can really feel this in my shoulders now. Keep going, four, three, two, one. We open, close, open, squeeze, closed. Four, three, and two, and one. We're gonna go back open and hold again, little pulses for six, five, four, three, 
two, one, and release. Very good, that should have definitely worked into the top of the shoulder area. Now let's move away from that, bring the feet together again. We'll give the shoulders a little break and bend the knees and I want you to just stay in a nice neutral back position and cross the arms in front so you're slightly leaning forward with your body and bend up. So cross and lift. Alternate the hand that goes in front as you lower. Cross, lift. So we're working a little more into the back now as we bring the elbows up. We are working the back of the shoulders now, not the top, and starting to work the upper back muscles a little more. Let's do another four. Keep alternating, three and two and one. Now we keep the arms up, we straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. So I'm not too bent forward, I'm not upright, just a little lean. Keep going four, just to target the back of the shoulders. Two and one, release down. Getting into the triceps now, we're gonna bend a little again as we just did, but pin those elbows in behind your body. So squeeze them in. Okay, and then keep them tucked in and higher than your body. Notice there's a gap between my elbow and my body. We straighten and bend, straighten and bend. So keep that core connected. Shoulders are open, not rounded. Keep them open. Shoulders are drawing down the back. We press, so keep those elbows tightly in beside you. So I'm not out wide, those elbows are tucked in. Good, keep going. Now the work in the triceps happens when we straighten the arms. Really stretch them, straighten. Focus on that end squeeze. Now keep the straight arms, squeeze in more. In, in, in. Squeeze, so it's like this. Squeeze in, but keep them straight and keep them lifted. Four, three, two, one. Come on up, give your shoulders a little roll. We don't wanna to get too tight in the neck, so have a break in between. Come back down and press the arms back again. This time, squeeze in, now lift. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze in, lift. Squeeze, lift. Keep going. That should be working the back of those arms now. The part we really like to tone up. <laughs> Let's do four more. Four, up, three, up, two, lift, one, up, release. Now let's get back into those shoulders. We'll go into our first position again. So remember, rock back onto the heels, turning out. Bend those knees and lift the arms. So we go up a little higher this time and down. So lift the arms, lower the arms. So it's like, again, you're hugging that big tree. Shoulders stay down as you lift and lower. So you can either stay with bent legs or straight legs if you prefer, or start to add a bend as we lift. You can go lower and high. Keep going with this, up and down lift and down. So even though the arms are going up, the shoulders aren't. Keep them dropped. Just think you've got heavy arms. They're dropping into your back. That will help you. So drop the shoulders and relax them. Let's do four and three and two and one and release. Now open the arms out to second again. Twist one arm and press it back. Twist the other arm, press. Let's twist. So we roll the shoulder. So this is getting into our rotator cuff muscles. Fantastic for our shoulders. Keep pressing. Let's go for eight, seven, six, Five, feeling good in the shoulders. Four, not too much neck tension, remember, go low if you do. Two, 
one and release give those shoulders a nice roll and we're going to one more back exercise you can keep your first position bend the knees and this time it's just a fly open and close lift so we open close lift close keeping the core connected just to support your back if you prefer legs together that's fine so we're lifting out to the sides and really take note when you lift are your shoulders lifting so you can do this in front of a mirror you'll get a lot out of this if you can see your own shoulders so we don't want that and this takes a little bit of work to learn to connect the shoulders down the back instead of letting them lift so just think as the arms go up shoulders drop down two more lift and last one release give those shoulders a nice roll put your weights down if you're using weights take a stretch now one arm across keep the shoulder down as you take the other arm under so the arm is straight other arm under and release other side straight arm across but watch that shoulder keep it down and stretch so we just did a really nice shoulder tricep and back shoulder back of the shoulder workout take the arm up stretch it up this is your introductory arm bar workout we start to add in a lot more movements as we progress change sides remember always take a break if you feel neck tension it's important to learn how to lift the arms without lifting the shoulders give your shoulders a nice roll take a chest stretch take your arms behind really open the chest and release last shoulder roll and you're all done thank you so much i hope you enjoyed that session and i'll see you tomorrow on the mat for our first yoga session